This Belgian ale pours a three-finger frothy white head with a light golden body. You get a light flowery aroma with hints of toasted malts, nutmeg, and cherry. Welcome to another beer review. Today I'm doing a beer request for one of my viewers. I'm raining on your parade if you want me to try out a beer from Athligan. Um, I'm going to start off with a strong tail ale, then I'll, in the future I'll do their double and triple. So I haven't tried Athligan beer before, so I'm kind of curious to see, see how this tastes. So let's dig in, guys. Right away, the first thing that hits you is the sweetness and the carbonation. It's a honey-like sweetness up front. You get that creamy texture. And a subtle um, spicy kick in the back end. But it, it is very drinkable. At 7% you don't get much of the alcohol. It's light medium body. It's lightly carbonation which it makes it very refreshing. The, the spiciness and the sweetness, it's well balanced. I, what I've noticed is when it's when it's cool, it's actually, you get more of like a honey sweetness, but when it's warmed down now, I get more of a, um, a fruity, almost like cherry-like sweetness. So I'm going to give this a 8.5 for taste and an overall score of an 89, which is a um, B+. Plus. It's, a, it's a very good example of Belgian Strong Pale Ale. Um, I've, the only one I've reviewed so far, besides this one, is the uh, Little Something Little Something Wild Ale by Lagunitas, and that one I really did really did like. I like that one a little more than this one, but this one's a great example, very refreshing. Um, it's just very simple and uh, um, to the point. So, 89 B plus, and I want to give a quick shout out to um, Jez 1308 and Man Bear Pig one two. One, two, three, four, five for commenting on my last few videos. So as always guys, have a good day, have a good night, and cheers.